Hi guys, welcome. I have here another medical student from my school. Oh, to <laughs> yourself. Hi, my name is Ashley from Thriving with Ashley on YouTube. Here, so go follow her. It's a yeah. ah, what's Instagram? <laughs> go follow everything, her. Follow everything. YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe to her YouTube channel. She's on 900. She wants to get to 1k before the end of this month. You guys should go subscribe to her YouTube channel. She creates content on medical school to lifestyle yeah, and just everything interesting, lifestyle. right? Yes, yeah. so I'll put her channel link or the name on that if you get subscribed. So today we asked some questions on an, on my Instagram and YouTube, um, let's say page, so Instagram story and my YouTube um, com um, community page. For people to ask me questions because over the past four or five months, this is in March, I've been getting a lot of questions about Tolu or Dr. Tolu, Dr. Steven, how is this one? How is this So I decided to create a or make a video going to. Sorry, I'm looking, I'm trying to find the questions. Yes. So I had to create a video to answer all those questions. So, guys, if I start the question today now, no my message me my DM, ask me my DM about this because I will not answer or I'll refer you back to this video because I'm going to make it as little as possible. That's why I brought another student from my school. So whatever I cannot answer, she can answer it. Whatever I forget to say, she can help me remember. Do you get my point? So please, if I go on to the video, subscribe to my channel, make sure you like this video, share and also give the video a thumbs up. So next question is, do international students get loans? Ashley. International students get loans in the <laughs> I can I can't speak on your No, they don't get loans. <clears throat> international students. What does that what does international students mean? You're, you're, from, you're not from the country. Right? Okay, yeah, some students like Canadian students do get loans. Yes, because that's what I'm saying. Like I cannot hundred percent say because I'm not very sure about that. I've not gotten a loan from the school mm -hmm. or anybody. But before. I think this person I know meant do Nigerian. He just wants <laughs> to say international. Gets loans, right? But if you mean Nigerian, Nigerians don't get loans. On like when I mean loan, I mean government loans. So you can you can have personal. Maybe your uncle is sponsoring you, mm -hmm. or your company is sponsoring you. But government loans, where in the US they give them seventy yeah, k yeah. per mm -hmm. year. No, you don't. unless maybe you're a Canadian or maybe or you maybe like actually send emails to the school and then tell them, oh, this is my situation. They don't Can I give find you them? loans. Are you serious? I asked them recently about something about something like that for a friend. They don't give you loans. They only give you payment plan. Yeah, oh, have, yeah. that's true. true. They, don't give, them, yeah, they, don't, give yeah, they don't give loans. They don't give loans unless so. you get it from your government. I mean, know that your country government. Yeah. Exactly. So that's true. They don't actually give loans, like, but they'll give you like a payment plan to pay mm -hmm. a certain percentage before you pass. That's true, actually. Okay, so I just inquired. So next yeah. question: How's life in Dominica? Like student life, night life. <laughs> upcoming vlogs you see student life and night life but like in general first things first is you don't expect it to be 100 percent you don't leave your country to come and play in another man's country mm -hmm. so it depends maybe once in a while you can go out of your way to have fun you can you think student life basically is not how i put it Student life is chill <laughs> Like Basically. for me, right? It's uh, very chill. When I was in my basic science, uh, where is the preclinical years, I was not much of a nightlife go out type of girl mm. because one, I was trying my best to pass my exams. Most people can go out and pass, yeah. but for my view, I remember those days we go out to the beach, we stay till like two a.m. We go to a friend's party, stay till like six a.m. You remember all those days? Was chill, to, yeah, was night life is very okay if you have Me friends. Me is night life. I used to go out in the night though because if like first of all, we are nice to go anywhere. <laughs> because I, our <laughs> pre-med, we had a lot of time on our hands. So, so I like, think I night life was night life was okay. At least if you go to the beach, you can get suya, you can get ice cream. Suya, suya. suya. <laughs> You can get chicken, you can get ice cream. No, they are barbecue chicken yes, suya. Yeah, and they they are suya, but don't, don't, not like Nigerian not, suya. Yeah. But it's barbecue, suya, in fact, when you, go to, when you go to Dominica, if you are here watching me, go on, it's flavors. Do you know I dream of flavors? I dream of them at times. I look at my dream of flavors. But no, like there's places that are better than flavors. Just that flavors was very good. Flavors was mm. good. Not better than flavors. It was good. Did you try any other place? Did you try any other place? There's places oh, flavors better than chicken. flavors. Oh. Trust me, and... Flavors is not bad, but there's places better than flavors. If I go there again, I'm going to go to flavors. If I go to Dominica again, flavors will be. You see, me, you see ah, places no, better than no, flavors. Eh, but I'm not seeing yet. I'm not seeing flavors. I can't see flavors. So, nightlife is okay. Depends on that person you are. If you're, yeah. I know the cinema works to a particular time, and like, I've watched um, Spider-Man Homecoming. If you're introverted, extroverted, you find your own crowd. You Socialize, make friends with people. It depends on who you are and the kind of people you actually run with. Yeah. So, one thing I want to say about nightlife in Dominica is that at 6, 5, 6 p.m. 
most shops are closed so you have to try your best to get all you need for the day or the next day before the shop closes. Dominica, let's say business kind of thing is so different they don't from other countries. Nigeria now you can be open to 10 to 11 what do you mean open to 10? That's, that's, when when that's, when, that's when things start happening like, like in Dominica uh, right I think from like 6 you don't see anything at then. most 8 p.m. that's when like you all these major anything. grocery stores close after 8 p.m. is closed and it was like, so annoying actually yeah. you know, I was like rushing rushing to go and buy rice or to go and buy it used to go when they're about to close their doors because sometimes. we'll be studying in school and then we'll have to like start washing trying to like meet up time to just go and buy those things that we need so I advise every, anybody that wants to go to Dominica know that their their closing time is is early, so it's early. Like, just not like your mind for that. It's not most of them close by five six. Maybe but one Fridays, or two. Fridays, eight. right? The the places that always open all these clubs, bars, and bars, and, and the way they're making no like or maybe all these small grocery stores, like mm -hmm. very small, like personal owned grocery stores might be open, but my that. So the students, students life. That's what's the real life. Student life, hmm, how is student life? Basically, I can, I can only speak from my own perspective. My mm -hmm. life there was wake up, especially when the when school before COVID, wake up, follow the school bus, go to school, have lunch, buy stuff if I need to go home. Mm -hmm. What else? Maybe go to the gym. Yeah, maybe come back to school, sh um, study with my friends, yes. shop, and that was basically student, like, my life there. Then when COVID came, it was always like at home grocery shopping, maybe going out here and there. Remember when we used to buy pork, it. food, that's when COVID-19 started. Yeah, COVID was, COVID really messed everything up for me. Okay, that was the time in Dominica where I, I think I felt like properly depressed. You <laughs> know, I feel like everybody was going through something at that point because uh, life hard. just became very slow. Like, imagine yeah. you doing 9 to 5. I was basically just sleeping because I finished my, M my MD, my, my pre-clinical before COVID started. I think it was in January, right? March, and the lockdown, we went to yes, lockdown lock, in And I March. finished my MD, my pre-med as MD, my MD, no, like, basically, pre-clinic, I finished it in April. So from that April, so I left Dominica in July. So, what thing about Next okay. question. Yeah. Next question is, for someone's core rotation, do you get to choose the country you do it in? Yes. You can choose where you want to do your core rotation in. I did two of my core rotations in Nigeria and I'll be remaining four in the US. So you can choose where, when, how, how do you want to do it? Do you want to start with family medicine before you do surgery? Do you want to do OB Joanne before you do surgery? You can choose how you want to do it, where and when you want to do it. It's in your hands. Yeah. So the school the school the, I like them because they're flexible. I think in the US or US schools or some Caribbean schools they, they are strict with their rotations where they give your rotation schedule before you even start. So you know you're going to start general surgery you're going to do whatever, whatever, whatever you want to do. But all sense, they give you freedom of doing whatever you want to do it. Yeah. What part of the island has the best student housing while being cost cautious? So me, I think it's Lubia. No, the best part is is not where we where our school is. It's very far. What yeah, no. part? The housing is cheaper than, than us. Are you sure? Yeah. What's that? Like, like you know, they have like student friendly housing i don't know how to explain but by the time you calculate the housing and the travel fare you have to use that's what i'm saying like i'm saying the where the play houses are and you know like easily accessible but we're being cost cautious here so a place where it's cheaper but you don't have to pay a lot of travel fare to get to school because you see um portsmouth you see was on canefield they have beautiful houses that are that are cheaper than the ones yeah but they're for other schools yes for other but uni. you have to transport yourself so you want to buy one maybe you're cooking and your gas finishes, you have to travel yourself from the way you are to find gas. Or you want to buy palm oil or grant oil. I think when we're living in good well, most that was very nice because like, they have like small, small like sh shops in like what more than my other places. Like they have their own life there, like they even have big stores there. But what what I'm saying is that that's where like you find houses that are beautiful and also like the amount of Okay, so what, what was the cost? What was the cost of staying in a house in Portsmouth? It depends also, but like... No, I just tell me, like, it's it, the cost. Like, 600, 700. You can find an amount of house in one I house. I promise you. You can find an amount of house in one house. You can find one house now, but the person is saying... What, what the person is saying? Cost-cautious. Best student housing, yes. I'm not talking of cost-cautious, I'm talking of best. No, I refuse to argue with her on this screen, on this one. 
<laughs> to me, the best student housing, I feel, I feel, I feel like you consider transportation one, consider easy access. To students, yes, you consider, consider all those things. That was makes that will make something best. Mm -hmm. Pros more than cons. I feel like the best cost, the best cost cautious, the cost effective housing in Dominica is that is, is K, um Warhouse, Lubie, what's that other place? Leopold. Those are the those are the areas that the houses are. A bit affordable, and you don't have to spend. Yes. I remember when we were in Lubia, we used to pay 1.5, but so I'd be one for dollar. transport. How much do you pay for that? Transport, transport is three, two, 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 five. No, five, it was 2.5. 2.5, that's yes. true. That used to pay five dollars. I'm going to school. We used to pay 2.5 to school and 2.5 back. But I'm sure if you were living in Paul a uh, game field, you pay five or do three. Game field is not that far. Uh, in fact, people that I also had argued this year, you where know KMP is not that far. I'm telling you, KMP is you live in Dominica, your favor, world in Nana, argue this thing here now. Where is the best cost effective, best housing opportunity in Dominica? Let's you know what I'm telling you. At the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is that post At the end of the day, we are going, to, we are going to listen to the people that are going to answer this question. Mm -hmm. People comment on that. If you live in Dominica, where is the best? Cost effective best accommodation for students in Dominica. Now consider transportation, consider logistics, tax general, consider um, every other thing. The question says, Can you explain more about the clinical rotations after graduation? You don't do. Clinical rotation is supposed to be done before you graduate from any school or any US. School. Yes, so I don't think you don't. If you don't look at rotations after graduation, that's just maybe what the best chance say is what happens after graduation. I think. say clinical rotation after graduation. No, you don't do clinical rotations after graduation. Mm -hmm. You do it before you graduate. It's a requirement. If you don't do your clinical rotations, you cannot graduate. She now said, um, is that what you're doing presently in Dubai? I'm not in Dubai, I'm back in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But I went to Dubai for a holiday and I'm back in Nigeria to continue my exam study. So someone said, um, I just watched the video where you said you spent just two years in Dominica. Why is that? So I spent two years in Dominica because I was on my preclinical science and I didn't want to stay in Dominica any longer. So the way you, you're allowed to leave, or let's say you're free to leave Dominica after your rotation, after your clinical, after your basic science. So for basic science, where you do MD, learn, you sit in class, you learn, right? You're allowed to leave Dominica whenever you want to after your clinical science so people decide to stay prepare for step one and do rotation so people decide to stay prepare for step one and then move on do rotation but me i left immediately because i couldn't bear it again i think the covid 19 just dealt with me and just killed my vibe made me tired of staying in dominica you why did you leave dominica but i leave my visa expired i needed to go and my visa i know to stay and then have to use that long uh, next question Please, can you explain how the whole system works? Tuition like course, all those things. The year, like the five-year MD program, the okay, four-year program, program, maybe that's it. Okay, so let me explain that. So, in my school, we have um, MD, we also have nursing, we also have master's program. I don't know if master is working, but I know we have three of them. So, for the MD program, we have two options, which is the, which is the pre-med MD, which is five years, and we have the four years, which is the MD, direct MD program. So for Ashley, she entered into the program, she explained her own to you, but let me explain my own for, to you, right? So for the MD program, you are allowed to enter MD if you have a BSc or if you have a maybe a transcript from another school where he started medical school at first. For example, I helped someone with admission recently and he is from Ukraine and he was in the third year of Ukraine, like his was third year and transferred into the MD3 because he had done some courses as prerequisites, right? So for someone like me that entered fresh from my BSc, so I did a BSc in Nigeria and then I applied to my school to study. I was put into the MD1 program. So when you get to MD1, you do things like anatomy, about um, anatomy, histology, embryology, his, um, do it embryology, yeah. <laughs> embry embry embryology, histology, anatomy, um, <laughs> epidemiology, which is my favorite subject. And you do research, I think, yeah, research work. You enter MD2, you do things like biochemistry, physiology, you do, um, the other thing, MD3, MD3, you do immunology, microbiology, path one, um, path one, ethics, and psych. 
and before you do path and farm and research and then um, PDR that's patient doctor relationship then the five is where you do your clinical medicine and blood prep and blood prep so that's how you do for the first two years of basic science then the second is where you do your rotations where you do things like call which are surgery internal medicine um other thing again and um, OBGYN psych pediatrics and family medicine then your electives are whatever you decide or decide to choose so that's that's for the MD four years program five year program the only difference is just pre med so I entered pre med one and Premed 1 to Premed 3 is like one year and then like Premed 4 is another like extra three months so Premed program was like one year and three months and then before you now enter into the MD program that should I just explained you do like basic um, science courses that's like anatomy, physiology, histology what you do ethics you also do history science also, psychology you do basic subjects like I can't remember you do um, mm. Microbiology, yes. Biochemistry. You did farm too. You, did farm too. So you do chemistry, four. biology, Physics. all those things at the beginning, like med one. Maths. And as you go, you do history. And all so if you hear no, just know that we're filming outside where the cars are passing. So pardon us for that, please. And um, they want to give us lights for Nigeria. Give us Um, why? Are you doing your clinical rotations in second year? I'm a second year medical student. Please ask me a question because she saw my video, right? I am a third year medical student. I already started my clinical rotations. So like I explained, the first two years are preclinicals, the last two years are, are, are clinical. So right now I'm not a second year, I'm a third year medical student, but I'm preparing for my step one exam. I stopped my rotations for third year to take my step one exam. Do you understand? You cannot continue. Yes, that's a new rule now according to them. On arrival to Dominica, getting to Roseau from Douglas Charles Airport. What is this thing? Where you get to Dominica? Get you find the you us since we're already. I think they always still bring the. Eh uh, yes, you just inform school like that time. They say I think they still do that. They are coming to Dominica and they will mm. send. They you send the driver to pick you, to pick you and then up. you go on their narrow road. You go on the you journey. Guys, you guys, if, if you're road sick, I advise you to not sleep in the plane and sleep a lot on the journey. I think just like you cannot spot the minutes. journey because of, the, of some of the bombs. No, I mean just like, like in, in the plane. Sleep in the plane. Don't sleep you in the plane. The plane so it <laughs> so still so you can sleep in the bus because there's a lot of the corner. plane is noisy. You can never have a and Dominica has it's mostly because roads. of the trees, like yes, and the hills and the yeah, rocks and your downside no, down. no, scary. That's why. So that is how school normally sends a bus to pick you. If they don't send a bus to pick you, you can you pay can, for like a cab. Yeah, then, then the airport. You or you cabs. can arrange before you come. Yes, they'll like, come and pick you up. Taxi or something. So just find your way. Okay. You can pause to attach test results to the medical certificate. <laughs> yes, now. So yes, you need to attach your your medical certificate. If you don't want that, they'll ask you for it because yes, it's, it's a part of requirement, requirement to necessary. get admission. Yes. Anything you're doing, so like even if you want to progress to clinical, you still have to progress on yes. Yes. before you start. Requ inquiry on accommodation and how to find accommodation within the body of 200. 200 will easy. I'll be 200 dollars. I think it's two hundred dollars. It's two hundred dollars. You can find something that work. Yes. Definitely. Well, two hundred is you cannot find. <laughs> two hundred is it. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars about four hundred and fifty or more is you can find eh, that 2.67. Yeah, you can find something. You can find the 400. Right. Yeah, maybe. But not a single bedroom. Like, it has you to share be with like somebody. With and somebody. maybe it might not be a very fine house. It might just be a house. A, a roof over your head. Yeah. That's so, important. And you might not have AC. You might not have fan. You have to buy those things yourself. And yeah, some of those things, like the houses, will not be like free fully and furnished. Yeah. So that's. But if you're, if you're lucky, you can find houses that 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 price and 100% was yes. rent, but you can find. Wow. But I think for that you have to email school, tell them your budget that you have, and yeah, they will see how they can you. best work. Or you can email me or Ashley, and you can link you up with someone that can help you can find you the your apartment. Email. Yes, <laughs> no, so my little school email said. Oh, you mean like, like help, help, yeah, help yeah, yeah, the person yeah. find someone? Because she's going to Dominica very soon, like, okay, so like she can help whoever wants to get the house within your budget. 
how do students that do rotations in the u.s handle it on visa i explained the visa thing you figure it out yourself and god help you get it in jesus name amen is it only b1 visa for rotation no it's b1 b2 i know a friend that is using um, student visa for rotations right now but when they expire now you have to go back home. yes because rotation visa takes two years now yeah. so if you can find a school or let's say you want to do another course in the US, maybe English, maybe history, maybe something that will give you admission, which you have to pay that school fees, then you can get to them and that's for rotation. But that, I think that's it. <laughs> so that the B1B2 one, B1, B1, one, fly in five months, fly leave out. to another island, fly back in, continue five months, leave to another island. Just you know, plan that five months yes, for you know, so that you do it back to back. It. Invoice. I know the tuition fee, but what other fees would be in the invoice in other semesters? First of all, if you're if you're in ND3, Kaplan <laughs> Kaplan fees will be in the invoice. Student government fee will be in the invoice. Health insurance. Health insurance will be in the invoice. And if you're coming in for the first time, admission fee will be in the invoice. And acceptance fee. Too. Yes, but I think I think I hear that they they the slashed down of the school. They fee. slashed uh, acceptance admission fee. And I think they so. slashed it, the hundred dollars so. that you paid that we paid then they, they don't charge the yeah. thing. they they now just ask for acceptance just added to your tuition yeah. but then what other fees paid okay for your md5 you would have to pay observership fee which as a then was a thousand dollars for me i don't know how much it is now the school can change or would have changed it yeah Everything then other fees you have to pay then let's assume you want to join an association amsa um whatever association you want to join you have to pay the session fee no i'm looking okay. for the if you want to join amsa pay session fee of amsa if you want to join in that thing which other fee again is paid uh if you want that one do your visa fee and just pay the visa fee yeah they also add, add examination fees yes yeah, so those ones are uh, most like added to your tuition which and is enrollment a fee, which is fee. A, a 50 usd per per semester that examination fee mm. yes they add that one so that's basically what is in your invoice and they'll tell you how you can pay like what banks or whatever they use for you to be able to pay okay um simple organizations at the school i think you mean like um what's i'm sorry yeah CMB. they have sbc which is the student body so i was once the vice president of the student body council how were you you were once the i was once the vice president but like you were no once longer. the assistant which one is true <laughs> I was once by president, I think 2009. So, when I was vice president, she was welfare. welfare. Assistant welfare. Yes, and now, when I left, she became the vice president of but the student body like like council. Finish my. So, someone is vice president. Was. So, that I, why president was the president? <laughs> then we also have the AMSA, which is like American Medical Student <laughs> Association. The CMD. The Dominican Chapter. The CMD, a Christian Medical Dominica. Christian Medical. Christian Medical Association. No, then, then Christian then Medical and Dental Association. Dental we also have IFMSA. Uh, IFMSA. F I F M S A. Some some something international. Some something. I feel like there's more, but we don't just know yeah, about them. So those are the ones that are like. We then are. we have A W S, which are part of Association of oh, Men Surgeons. Yeah. So that one do we have in all sense? Um, I think I that's all. Know. The four of them. Yeah. You on your own, you can join some other organizations that I'll will help you. I advise you may join as much as you can join. No, not over because it will help you with your, your matching CV. CV. You put that like I can put that. I was once in AMSA. I have my certificate. I have with me. Yeah, keep those things. I was once in SBC. I was once an SBC vice president. I can put that my certificate. I was. I am currently in um, AWS as Women's Surgeon Association. I am not if if AMSA yet, but join. I was yeah, I'm join. currently in AMSA. So. Yes. Okay. After semester five of basic science, is there time of giving by the school to study for a school? <laughs> I'm SMB? an example of that question now. I won't say school gives you time. I'll say you take time off by yourself. By yourself, yeah. Like some, I think US schools they give six weeks, eight weeks. My school just tell you they don't even give you time. You can spend one <laughs> you year your once. Fees, that's when when you're like. You can spend active. two weeks if you want. You can spend six months if you want. Anything you want to spend, just but also know that you, know you that have it's to your time. be fast. Yeah, your they time have to do it fast. Like me, I wish I'd do at taking my step one. Immediately like I wanted after. to do it. That's right, for August 2020. But till now, I haven't taken the step one, which then that we still take it. That thing. We still take it. So they don't give you specifically the time, but you are allowed to take it whenever you're ready. Mm -hmm. Please, can you explain the way grades are given examination for basic science classes? 
basic science that's everything yeah should i talk okay so the missions are giving like this so sesame you're in md1 you're doing anatomy you're doing um biochem you're doing anatomy you're doing embryology you're doing histology you're doing epidemiology the way all saying does is that they give block exam so for example in this is enter all science in september 2022 you take your block one exam in october 2022 which means whatever you've learned in that four weeks they do their courses for four four weeks whatever you've learned in that four weeks you test yourself mcqs on that your block one on each subject. so you have a block one of anatomy block one of physiology block yeah. one of whatever you do exams for each of them then in block two exams going to be no september october november 2022 why block three which is the final exam will be december 23 2022 now what they do is that they accumulate everything together so they will add your block one so you have a 60 percent in block one 60 percent in block two which is fail obviously let me use 70. Well, that's, that's 70 percent in block one some percent in block seven percent in block so you have a total 70 percent in general which is almost a fail because in, in all sense what they do is that anything below 70 percent is a fail yeah and if you don't pass the cut off at the end of the semester you know you are not allowed you might have to repeat that, that course. class and if you like feel like if you feel three like courses, three, you're repeating you're that repeating class that so that's class. how their yeah, exams are so you have to um, why i tell people when i ask me you have to really work hard and, and it's, I, it's I broken down in such a way that you can, you can actually up. get it yeah. i remember when i was in md1 i had some group of friends that i still love to today we will read after class every day and we i can bet none of us had anything below 80 in our block exam and at the end of the day we had 80 80 80 to 90 to even 98 as a total grade so you just it have it's just about when, you being smart when school yes, was in session was you cannot school. say the same for when COVID. when COVID when COVID started, everything like, just messed up everything <laughs> so i came i don't even know what's another COVID story another the story. next question is um can you can you explain dean's list dean's list Okay, you know how you have like best graduating students because they have like very high scores, like 3.5 above mm -hmm. GPA. But they have all A's. But they have all A's, yes. So in all things, like when you have all 90s above in any course, in consecutively for like block one, block two, block three, and mm -hmm. each semester, yeah, then you'll be on this list. Consecutively, you know, you have 90 this block. For example, in MD1, block. you have A's, 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 yes, or A's. Block. MD2, you have A's, 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 MD3, you have A's, 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 you MD4, you have A's, 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 I don't know if they still do a white ceremony in the floor. No, 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 no. So that's how you're able to get on this list. Yes. Can you give an example of fee invoice for semester three, four, five? We can't do that because it depends on scholarship you get, depends on whatever, whatever. But go on the website, you just see a general, like, I think I can, I can put, an what, I can put yeah. it here for them to see. Just what's on the school website. Yes, so it depends on what or like how much you're getting personal. for scholarship. That's more, like me, I, I got 10%. For rotations, thirty-five percent for basic science, but some people can get sixty percent for yeah, rotation for basic you. science and get twenty-five percent. So it depends on whatever you're getting at your school for your scholarship. Um, I heard of this list. Is it pass class per year? How does it work? Like I said, consecutively is 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 you get on your dean's list. You don't have to think about it like your class, okay? You'll just be surprised when yes. they tell you on dean's list. Yeah. But yeah. You have to pay tuition during the break frame for seven. No, you don't have to pay tuition. If you're not in school, but you, you can start to paying tuition to build up your fee for yeah, rotation. So if your parents have a thousand dollars you put into school. They have ten thousand you put in school. So when the tuition starts, you just keep you going. Don't, yeah, you don't, you don't stop. stop because of yes. fees. We heard about we heard that an entire set were allowed to do rotations outside Dominica. Why? You heard. I never heard that though. You heard, heard that. No, I didn't hear. I never heard that. <laughs> Please, I want to know. Please, just come and just me. I know people. That, I know even from the first set. Yeah, I people met, are still doing that. Did in Nigeria? Everybody they say outside you. Dominica, you're not allowed to. Mm, really? You could do in Nigeria. You could do. I'm, I did my Nigeria. Is your money and what works? I you. never heard that. So, the last few questions are: the natural disasters like hurricane. How often do you get affected? The last one that happened was in 2017. That's when I got admission. So I had to defer my admission for the next year. And students that were on the island, they had to take them to in the boring island, which was St. Vincent. And people that had like passports in USA, US, and maybe other countries, they were carried. So I really I can't speak for what happened there because I was not present. But like, okay, from what I've heard, like they 
people came and took them to their countries and people also helped to like help them find shelter and so stuff in the aspect of how often i don't think they i think yeah they have a lot of storms a lot of yeah um, tropical storm, tropical warnings, storm warnings but i've never ever, ever experienced a proper hurricane so or earthquake you just have like yes. warnings and most times and it passes or most times it rains for like a, a long mm. time and gets flooded but I've never experienced a hurricane personally. But hurricane doesn't that, really happen frequently. Like but I know that, that a hurricane, hurricane Maria happened in 2017. I know how disastrous that it was. was. They are even still recovering in um, some Does the fee increase or is it fixed per semester? <laughs> All sense tells you that they have the right <laughs> to increase their, their fee anytime they want, they want to increase it. So, so my dear, prepare for when I entered All Sense, we're paying the, the fee estimate there was some, something 49995. Mm. When we when they entered MD one, it was we're paying five nine 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 five. It was different. So it, so. De de it depends on the <coughs> choice, and that is even also depends on the the, the thing too. That time COVID happened, I, I know prices were cool. Yeah, increased. fees even increased. Because remember that time we were paying people's fee, we had to pay. Yes, we had to pay extra because I already paid like my fees. Complete, and I was but then I was not fee, going to school. Said, oh, that it's the increase your fee, so and they don't you don't have any right to complain or say anything. You have to follow up with it. Yeah, so last so question is, is does one have to pay school fees when they're was that it? No. So you don't have to pay fee when you're preparing for, for your step, step one, one exam because you're preparing for an exam. That's okay, so this is question. But when you want to start rotations, you pay fees so that you can start your rotations. That Someone said be. things to know about customs on arrival. Customs, just have your, um, you just have your uh, proof of return tickets to show yes, that you're going back to your the country. country. Then have like your maybe your admission letter, your admission letter, yes, yes your health certificate, your medical maybe your housing if you have an idea, your housing, yes, like where you're going to, where you're going to stay. They don't disturb much when you entry. I feel like once they know that you're a student of all sense, yeah. they just allow you pass. Because you know you have coming out. They just make sure that you have those documents, like your return ticket and yes. all those minor things. But like it's not a wahala, it's not that customs. Okay. And yeah, make sure you don't carry like. Illegal like items. food stores, some food stores, they don't have food stores, like, yeah. like um, a farm. You don't allow crayfish. You don't allow crayfish. Cause yeah, it's, it's not like, like they don't allow it, but they, they have seasons for certain things, yes. so it does have something that. And also, they feel like when you bring something outside, you can come and keep them. Yeah, just like US. Yes. yes. They don't allow certain things that look like. Illegal. Like, example, Sorel, Zobo. They have they have there. Zobo there. So, so if they see Zobo in your box, why are you bring Zobo when yes. you already have Zobo in the island? So that is so that was some something thing. that you need to be cautious of when you're coming to the island for customs. So guys, I hope this video has answered because oh, it's basically questions. almost the same like. So I hope this video is going to answer all your questions, and if you have more, still drop them. We will make a part two later, maybe like after one month or. Later, later, later. But I feel like this video has touched on all the Most areas because we even like over, I even spilled like up to like giving like estimated of cost, cost of things. Like. So before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My I have another channel called Two One Steam, and I have channel Black Your MD. Subscribe. We'll be seeing a lot of medical content creators like Ashley here. Also subscribe to our channel Traveling with Ashley on YouTube and follow her on Instagram Asha Coco underscore. Yep, I also have my medical school page Chidi and Medicine Chidi and Medicine underscore and Smiling Glossy by Asha, Asha Coco. Yes. So, so guys, have a great day. Thank you for asking you. all these questions and I'm glad. I hope we actually helped Helps you. you and and us we know how stressed we can be, especially like when you're going to a place where you have no idea yeah, what to expect. It. So I just hope we helped you. So guys, stay bye safe. Bye. Take care of yourself.